Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to make a video to discuss the jailbreak status for newer firmwares. So for those of you who don't know, Apple did release iOS 6.1.4 exclusively for the iPhone 5. So as you can see, if you're an iPhone 5 owner, this is what it would look like when you go inside of the software update portion of the settings application. You will see an update for iOS 6.1.4 if you're on 6.1.3. And for the description of 6.1.4, it simply says update audio profile for speakerphone. Now, as I just mentioned, 6.1.4 is exclusive to the iPhone 5, and the new release follows Apple's previous iOS 6.1.3 update that was released March 19th to address a number of bugs, including vulnerabilities that were previously exploited by the Evasion Jailbreak utility to achieve an untethered jailbreak on iOS 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 6.1, 6.1.1, and 6.1.2. So if you own any iOS device that's on any of the firmers I just mentioned, you will be able to jailbreak using evasion. So I will have a link to a tutorial down below in the more info. Alright, and as I went over before, the new 6.1.4 firmware is said to simply update the audio profile for the speakerphone drink calls on the iPhone 5. Now unfortunately, while it's possible to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3, which is the latest firmware for all devices besides the iPhone 5, on the older A4 based devices, which includes the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch using Red Snow, if a newer device updates past iOS 6.1.2, which includes 6.1.3 and today's 6.1.4 firmware for the iPhone 5, then those devices will be unable to jailbreak. So unfortunately, 6.1.3 did patch the evasion jailbreak. Now the reason why those older devices are able to jailbreak is because they're using a tethered jailbreak with Red Snow, and it uses a hardware-based exploit that Apple can't simply patch with an updated version of iOS. They actually have to release new devices to patch it, which obviously they've done. So if you have an older iPhone or an iPod Touch and you want to jailbreak on 6.1.3, just be sure to check out that video. I'll have a link to it down below. So with that said, if at all possible, avoid upgrading to 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 at all costs. And now, let's just review a few things as far as the next untethered jailbreak is concerned. So back in March, Posix Ninja announced his plans to develop the next untethered jailbreak. So I'm not really going to go too into depth. Now really quick, for those of you who don't know, Posix Ninja is the former leader of the Chronic Dev team, the developers behind tools like Absinthe and Green Poison. So Posix Ninja will definitely hold true to what he says because this is coming from a reputable source. Now in the past week, at the end of March, Joshua Hill, Posix Ninja, said, well, so far it looks like the next jailbreak might be created entirely by me. Now moving on to the next bit of awesome news, Pod2G, who's one of the four members of the Evaders, along with Muscle Nerd, Planet Being, and Pimskex, confirmed that prior to the public release of 6.1.3, the firmware would unfortunately patch the evasion jailbreak. And then once 6.1.3 was released, in response to a follower, he said that they are not working on a 6.1.3 jailbreak, and that it would simply be too much effort for such a minimal update, and that the minor update essentially isn't worthy of the number of exploits that it would take to create another untethered jailbreak, because of course Apple would simply patch that untethered jailbreak with the release of another minor firmware before iOS 7 is released. So that brings me to my next point. A few days after Posix Ninja's announcement, he sent out another tweet clarifying that he never said the next jailbreak would be for 6.1.3 and that it would most likely be released in the days of 7.0.x or even 7.1.x. So we have a ways to go before we hit Posix Ninja's future jailbreak. And it looks like the evaders might actually bring us the next untethered jailbreak for iOS 7. Now following that news, at the beginning of April, Posix Ninja sent out yet another tweet saying, saying another day, another exploit. So this is actually what we have to look forward to. The dev teams and the developers behind the creation of jailbreak utilities will again wait for iOS 7 and future iDevices to be released before pushing out the next untethered jailbreak utility. That way they can ensure maximum compatibility and maximum device support. Because if they don't release a jailbreak, Apple simply wouldn't know which exploits they plan on using in the future to create a jailbreak. So therefore Apple cannot patch them until they actually push out that utility. So really quick, just to summarize, if you're on iOS 6.1.3 on the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, or the fifth generation iPod Touch, you will not be able to jailbreak. And the same thing goes if you actually update to 6.1.4 on the iPhone 5. However, if you're on an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or the fourth generation iPod Touch, you will be able to jailbreak on 6.1.3 using Red Snow. 
and the next public untethered jailbreak is unfortunately ways off. Now there's some extra information on evasion jailbreak that you can check out pertaining to today's news. So I'll have another link to that down below in the more info. All right, and that's it for this video. Don't forget you can enter to win my new Amazon $100 gift card giveaway simply by rating this video up and leaving a comment down below in the comment section. And once you do that, you'll be automatically entered to win. And finally, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.